Hey first graders, today in phonics we're going to continue practicing adding S to VCE words. Adding S. Now, remember our C VCE words have long vowel sounds in them. Long vowel sounds. And what are those long vowel sounds? A, safe, A, E, peat, E, I, pine, I, O, home, O. And then U is a little tricky because it has two different sounds. The first one is U, mule, U, or U, rule, U. Remember, the magic E gives the first vowel the power to use the long vowel sound. Remember, the long vowel sound says its name, says its name. So let's talk about adding S. We reviewed this on Tuesday, and I just want to remind you guys, what do we add S to? Well, we add S to nouns, and nouns are persons, places, and things. So people, places, and things. And when you add an S to nouns, it means that there's more than one of those things. So for example, we have kids. A kid is a person. And in this picture, we have multiple kids. So we had an S to the end of it. And then we have places like park. That is a park. In New York City, there are many parks. So parks, places. Or you have things. A pencil is a thing. In that picture, there's multiple pencils. So you add an S to nouns to make it mean more than one. Now you can also add an S to a verb. And verbs are action words. So words like sing, run, jump. And when you add an S to a verb, it means it's happening right now in this very moment. So, when we add an S to words with a magic E, the E still gives the vowel the power to use the long vowel sound, and the E is still silent with a S at the end. Remember, S sometimes says Z at the end of words. Now, when you're looking at these words, you might want to cover up that S and make sure that it's a vowel, a consonant vowel, consonant word. Uh, E word. So you know what vowel sound to use for the vowel. So today we're going to practice making words plural. Making words plural or more than one. So here's our first word. Let's sound it out. K I T. Because there's a magic E at the end, the E is silent. The E gives the I the power to use the long vowel sound. K I T. Kite. There's one kite. But what if there's more than one kite? Well, then you add an S to the end. Kite. Kite. Kites. And there you see multiple kites. I see one, two, three, four, five, six kites. So if there's more than one, you put an S at the end of nouns. Let's do another one. Let's sound that out. Er, long or short vowel. I see an E at the end, power to say its name. Er, ope, rope. There's one rope, but what if there's more than one rope? Let's see, let's add an S. And that means there's multiple ropes. So I see a bunch of ropes in that picture, a bunch of different kinds of ropes. So let's sound out that word. Er, ope, s, er, ope, s. Remember the E is silent, ropes. Let's do one more. Hmm, g, a, m, g, a, m, game. There's Monopoly, one game. In that picture though, there's lots of games. I see chess, I see cards, I see some chips, I see Scrabble. So let's sound out that word. G -a the E is still silent, guys. G -a games. 
All right, guys. So for your assignment today, for your assignment today, you're going to be given a word list very similar to this one. You're going to read the words and pick three words to illustrate. Three words to illustrate. And remember, these words are plural, which means you need more than one. You need more than one. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's see. I see k, a, k, s, k, a, k, s, cakes, and then p, o, o, s, p, o, o, s, poles, and I see g, a, t, s, gates, cakes, poles, gates. I'm going to pick one word and illustrate it. So I'm going to pick the word cakes. So I'm going to write the word, and I know it's going to be backwards to you guys. So I write the word cakes. I'm going to draw some cakes. Because there's an S at the end of the word cake, I know I have to draw more than one cake. So I'm going to draw three tiered cakes. I drew one, two, three cakes. And for an extra challenge, I want you to write a sentence using the word. So I could write the sentence, I have one, two, three cakes. All right, guys, it's your turn to go practice and do your work with adding S to v, uh, VCE words. Happy learning, guys.